Hey guys, welcome back to the Indazone YouTube channel. Today we are going to be showing you guys what we use for like our body routine and just overall body self-care. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, body self-care. <laughs> all right, so I'll be starting off with like kind of like a shower routine and what I use in the shower on my body. So the first thing I do when I get in the shower is I use my Noxzema Daily Deep Pore Oil-Free Cleanser with real eucalyptus extract and i let that sit on my face oh sorry about that i let that sit on my face throughout like the whole shower just to make sure it gets like really in there you know so then what i like to go in with after is the sensitive skincare hypoallergenic wash this is the baby dove i use this for my downstairs area because it has no fragrance and it's like gentle down there but it also gets you clean I like to go in with a either a baby washcloth or a regular washcloth because the baby washcloth is very like gentle but it'll still get you clean you know mm -hmm. and the rag is a little more like harsh that's why I recommend a baby washcloth but it still gets the job done you know so then after that I like to use my exfoliating washcloths these are really cheap you can really get them anywhere Walmart Target wherever um i put these on and i go in with a bar soap i recommend using the dove bar soaps because they get really really soapy and it just gives you like a good fresh feeling you know so yeah then after that is all lathered up on my skin i like to wash it off um after that i go in with a body wash i recommend using the dove body washes because those body washes are very they get very soapy and lather on your skin really nice and gives you a nice clean feeling and i can also recommend this olay one because this also gets very soapy and it has a very great scent leaving you smelling very nice and then last but not least i like to go in with a body scrub this one is the aromatherapy ocean essentials from bath and body works I personally like to use the Tree Hut body scrubs because they just, hmm, they're not as harsh, but they still get the job done and make you feel really, really soft. This one works as well, but again, that Tree Hut is my personal favorite. Um, you just, so it looks like inside, you know, make sure <laughs> that you're using this in a circular motion all over your body. Don't get it down there. That's not where it belongs because it can irritate you very bad with all the fragrances and all the stuff that it's made with. So don't do that. But yeah, after that, I just wash all that off. Then I remember wash my face off. Then when I get out of the shower, I like to go in with a body cream or body butter because it's very thick and rich and it'll leave you very moisturized and smelling great all day. There's nothing wrong with body lotion. But I just don't really like how it's kind of watery and it doesn't keep you very moisturized all day. So yeah, that's why I recommend a good body cream. I get this one from Bath & Body Works, but Tree Hot also has very good thick body butters. And yeah, um, just to add on to what Cal said, I think it's really okay. I think it's really good to use body scrubs because it takes the dead skin off your skin and it's not good to let all that build up, like. It depends on what you use in the shower, like what cloth you use, because some of them don't get everything off if you use something that's not a, like as rough. If that makes sense. Um, oh yeah, like also going on, I personally do use the Tree Hut scrubs also, and yeah. I do think Dove is like the more safer brand. Like I use the Dove scented ones, liquid ones, or bar, doesn't really matter. Um, but I definitely do. But I had a question, Cal, do you like use those every time? you're in the shower or that's like a pan for a day for you no i don't scrub every time i usually scrub like two or three times a week mm -hmm. you want to make sure you're not scrubbing too much because like that's just really not good for your yeah. skin it'll, it'll really dry, dry out mm -hmm. yeah so everything i use everything every single time i shower besides the scrub every single time so yeah i don't really prefer to use a lot of fragrance either on my body but mm -hmm. and i like to use I'm like, tell, I don't like to use like body creams and stuff like that because I feel like my skin will feel oily and I don't like to feel like heavy. Like, I don't know. It makes me feel like too much. So I don't like to use like scented stuff on my body a lot. I like to use like 
I do like the the Dove soap and I like the gentle exfoliating, especially the body wash. It's really good and it's like a scrub and you can use it every day, but it's not as harsh. Mm -hmm. And I just like non scented lotion. I don't know. It feels like. It doesn't feel like it's there, but you won't be as Yeah. <laughs> I just think I go on, I can go on with multiple layers of soap, but I would use different kinds because I just think like my, that will dry out my skin. Yeah. I just yeah. think that that's like too much for me. Yeah. Three. Okay. So first I, here I have the Dr. Tails body wash that contains eucalyptus and spearmint. I do like, before I use this, I do like to go on with like a Dove bar soap just to like actually clean myself and I use like a small amount and I like apply it to my body and let it sit for a little to actually like get the calming effect of it mm -hmm. and yeah and then here I had the growth serum by Sheer Physiques Beauty and I pour some in my hand some in my scalp and I massage it in and I kind of sometimes do a little twist out so that it can actually like soak in and actually work and I think it works really good. <laughs> you can find this growth serum on Sheer Physique on Instagram and then if you wanted to check out Samara's Instagram and all her business stuff you could go to Yasama Essence on Instagram and we'll make sure to link those down in the description. Um, I really like what Jordy said about the massaging your scalp with your fingertips. That's a really good way to you know relax your scalp and yeah. make sure that the oil mm -hmm. is really getting in there instead of just like you know placing it on top because yeah. i also heard that um like massaging your scalp a lot it promotes a lot Hair of hair growth, growth. Yeah. yeah yeah i heard that yeah i do that with the oil too and then i have like this massager uh, <laughs> it's like a scalp massager that i use in the shower it's so, like if i after i put my conditioner in i'll like use the massager and do that if you like want to use in the morning yeah i think i've seen the other one that's like spiky yeah, yeah. i wanted one but never bought it but i like it mm -hmm. okay so i'll go next and i'm just going to be talking about how i style my hair for when i do like my wash and go or whatever they call it on it's not insta youtube so normally i don't really have a preference for like leave-ins or anything or like styling stuff so right now i'm using the maui curl smoothie for thick and curly hair I don't really like coconut scents, but that's the one I'm using right now. That's like, I feel like that's what everything is. Mm -hmm. Um, So in the shower, I use any like shampoo, conditioner, whatever my mom has bought and I use that. So I don't detangle my hair in the shower. I usually do it outside of the shower and I leave the conditioner in. So once I get out the shower, I detangle it in my room or wherever I'm at and I go in with this or whatever i'm using at the time and i just rake it through my hair to make sure it gets everywhere and i make sure to go in at the ends also to make sure it's not dry and then once i've raked it through i like to use this gel it doesn't matter what gel really i feel like i should be using a curly hair gel because those aren't don't make your hair like as crunchy but if you use a little bit of eco and you just scrunch i feel like your curls will be like very defined and yeah and i also like to use this one i don't know i feel like it's I, the smaller brands are better for your hair and this one's really good i like it and that's all i do and then i just wait for my hair to air dry i don't use diffusers or anything because my hair is already like damaged from dyeing it so i like to lay low on all that stuff um going off like what Sherlyn said i really don't have a preference for like leave-ins i haven't really found a leave-in conditioner that sticks for my hair um i have used eco before and it was a crunch i mean me and Sherlyn have different hair textures but i wouldn't say like eco was my go-to i know people hate the brown gel but the brown <laughs> gel <laughs> the brown gel be slick in my hair i don't care but anyway so the brown gel slicks my hair yeah. and then just go with whatever it got to be and it does slick your hair yeah. and like this got to be my hair just puffs up so i'm not really an eco person yeah i feel like a lot of people i don't know I feel like people say eco is a watery gel, so that's why I feel like it's good for wash and goals because it won't make your hair crunchy. Like, I hate my hair to be crunchy. It's like, ew. Um, kind of like what Sherlyn said with the, um, when she detangles her hair. Personally, I like to do it in the shower. It doesn't really matter where you like to do it, but yeah. I like to go with my hands because 
sometimes using a brush can be really harsh on your like hair and you can like pull it mm -hmm. but if you're like going gently in and detangling your hair that's I, that's what I recommend yeah. more and also um, if I'm not using a leave-in conditioner I, I use rice water rice water is really good for hair growth um, you can even mix it in with like a little bit of your leave-in conditioner but yeah that's another yeah. thing that's really good for hair growth yeah and when I'm um, detangling my hair, I like to detangle it in the shower and then after I'm done, I like to go in with my fingers because I feel like it leaves my hair softer and like better curls rather than like, like you said, like raking it down yeah. and like destroying the curl pattern. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. If you don't know, you detangle your hair from the bottom and up. Don't yeah. start at your roots because you're just like pulling through all the knots. Yeah, it's just true and i don't know why i don't like to i used to do it in the shower i used to comb my hair too in the shower but i don't like all the hair on my body like i hate yeah, that so yeah. much so that's why i just started to do it outside of the shower and i don't know i used to do my hands too but i don't know sometimes it's just a lot, a lot of work okay so for me i'm gonna just be talking about the downstairs area and more just like how to do things properly regarding like shaving or like taking care of yourself when you're on your monthly cycle um so something i do for like shaving down there is i exfoliate so you can use more of like an organic um exfoliate don't really go in with anything too harsh that has like these scents and don't go you know in um that's really bad yeah <laughs> but um basically a razor that i have is like the soleil like the sensitive kind so it looks like this it's just like one of these regular razors like this and when you're shaving I do use a shaving cream so like EOS or any other kind of shaving cream after you exfoliate and when you shave this is the you are supposed to go in one direction whether you want to go this way and you also grow shave towards the direction that the hair grows in mm -hmm. so you shouldn't like be shaving like this and then go like this and this and then like this you should be shaving in one direction and you can go side to side or like this but make it consistent don't go like up and then go zigzag because it can cause razor bumps to be formed or ingrown hairs which are just like not, not fun yeah. um after i shave i go in with like a uh, baby oil um or anything like that i don't know if people use like aloe or just like any other kind of lotion yeah. i think lotion can sometimes be a little um sensitive to the area because a lot of lotions do have scents in them so i just think it can mm, okay. i don't explain it i know what you mean it like irritate it yeah irritate it not like giving an infection i would yeah. say but it can be really irritating yeah mm -hmm. i used to use for after I shaved, I used to use like this really good aloe gel, but it was like the Johnson & Johnson brand. Mm -hmm. So I felt like it was really good also because it was like a baby product and I yeah. feel like those are really like subtle. It just adds moisture back. I definitely think you should put some kind of moisture after you shave down there. Yeah, because it'd be like dry. Yeah. Coconut oil is good too. Yeah. Especially to shave. It makes it like really sleek, like mm -hmm. it's easy to shave. And um, not saying that that razor is like bad you can use like any razor just make mm -hmm. sure it has a lot of like blades yeah. and um men's razors are they can be more like harsh to the skin but it will give you a closer shave mm -hmm. so definitely yeah okay. i don't use men razors for the reason that it does get a little too close to the skin and it can cause razor bumps but i do know that they work better and a lot of women do prefer the men's razors mm -hmm. uh quick side note though like don't ever feel pressured to shave if your body and if your yeah. parent allows it. Mm -hmm. um, that's definitely something that should be a choice. It shouldn't be something that's mm -hmm. demanded. You can choose to do whatever. You are not required to shave. That is a personal decision. Yeah, mm -hmm. of course. Everyone has hair. Like, yeah, mm -hmm. there's nothing wrong with having hair. Definitely a personal decision. Same thing goes for your armpits, your legs. It's all personal decision. Mm -hmm. um, so the next thing I have with me is just some pads. Um, I think the time of the month is something that a lot of people downplay. Yeah. yeah. Um, whether you get it, um, heavy cramps, light cramps, or just like a heavy flow period, I think, or if you use tampons too, um, I just think that it should be talked about more in schools so that people who might get theirs early mm -hmm. are well educated. Um, I'm not saying that they can't go to their parent, but 
sometimes people don't always have that option. I think sometimes it's just easier to learn from school without it being so much focus on you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but with pads, um, something I think we've all seen in school, you know, you've seen, when you go to the bathroom, you've seen mm -hmm. somebody just like throw the pad in the trash. That's nasty. Do sorry. not do that. That is just gross. It's not like, sanitary at all. Like it, people are looking at your blood. Yeah, it's just, nasty. it's not cute. So, this is a pad, obviously. Um, we open it like this, you know. So, once you have, after the pads are used, this one is new brand, but after it's already used, or if you're taking one off that you have on right now, just roll it back. Don't touch the wood, but I mean, if you do, that's whatever. But <laughs> just roll it back up, and then if you this piece of paper from the new pad that you're going to put on roll that on the tampon like mm -hmm. this and sometimes or just pattern. in between this i use toilet paper toilet just so paper, people yeah. really yeah. don't see the blood and then you still have this this is the container that the pad came in put it back in there and you can do it like this and then roll it in more toilet paper if you want yeah. and then put it in the trash can don't just throw your pads in the trash can it's really unsanitary for schools and i just think yeah. it's it's not ladylike. And pads don't flush. Yeah. Yeah. If you use a tampon, don't put it in the toilet. Um, that's something else that can be wrapped in toilet paper or I don't know if you want to like put it back in that skinny bag, but wrap it in toilet paper and put it back in the trash. Yeah. Um, um, um I feel like it depends on your period. Just make sure you know which mm -hmm. pad you're buying because there's some for like heavier flows and there's some for like lighter flows. So just make sure you're buying this the right one for you, and make oh. sure you don't leave it on for too long. Cause yeah, I heard about toxic mm -hmm. shock and that. When mm -hmm. you leave in tampons for yeah. way too long, you can get toxic shock, toxic shock syndrome, which is really not fun. And um, you don't want to be sitting in your blood all day. Yeah. And it's yeah, it's just not it's gross. And so you can carry around like sure. wipes. Yeah, yeah to wipes yeah. too. Cause it doesn't only get like in that area. Like it will get like. In the back area, yeah. it'll yeah. get like everything. Get yeah. them. I definitely also recommend that even if you're on your period to carry pads or tampons in yeah. your bag. Um, and like they were saying with like Sean was saying with the thickness of the pad, there's also longer pads, there's short ones, medium yeah. sized ones, and then like long ones that cover the whole underwear. Yeah, it's like a yeah. diaper kind of. Yeah, but you can get those really long ones and still be thin and like those are really good ones to sleep in so you yeah, don't have yeah. to worry about the blood touching your back yeah. Yeah. or anything like that so i definitely think that those are helpful and then you know just your you don't need to wear a victoria's secret but i mean if you want but i feel like if you wear the more like not pads like if you wear more underwear or more like shorts you won't feel it at all yeah i personally like to wear boy shorts when i'm on my period because yeah. I feel like it's just come more comfortable. It, it just yeah. holds the yeah, pad. It holds the pad better. I know. It holds it in and and you don't like it to fall on the side. Yeah. 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 It just keeps. Yeah. 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 Try not to wear expensive underwear on your period because obviously you don't want to ruin that. I like to use like um, underwear that I've gotten from like Target, Walmart on my period because, you know, who wants to wear an expensive pair of underwear? Yeah. Underwear just to get like blood on and ruin them. You know what I mean? So. Mm -hmm. So now I'm going to ask you guys some questions about body care, and you're just going to answer it. Um, so what is you guys' favorite thing to do out of your whole body care routine? Do you like to exfoliate? Do you like to do scrub? Do you like to do your hair? So just go down the line and tell us what's your favorite part of your routine or just body care overall. Sure. All right, I'll start off. So my personal favorite is um, after I'm done going on my bar soap is going on with my body wash. I say this because it just makes seeing feeling all the soap on you and that thick soap on you just makes you feel so clean. <laughs> so like I just really love that feeling and when it washes off you so shiny, you know what I mean? So I really like that. And it just like makes the whole shower worth it, you know. I feel like Tao really likes a good laugh. Right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> she loves saying that. Wait, so it's it's like good to do body soap then body wash? Um, I just feel like if I'm going in like with like an exfoliating um, body bar that it's just like I don't know how to explain it. It just like gives you that clean before you put on something bad scented. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. So I don't like to use like body bars that have like tropical scents or whatever because that's what your 
body wash is for mm -hmm. but yeah so for me i'm kind of in between both i love doing my hair but i also do love body scrubs body scrubs i just love picking out new scents and mm -hmm. trying out different ones mm -hmm. making sure it's not too harsh on my skin because skin can be a little difficult sometimes but i also do love like trying out new hairstyles yeah yeah i agree um there's not really anything that i favorite i like getting new stuff like i don't like doing my hair like i dread doing my hair and i only do it once it's like really dirty and i feel like okay now i'm gonna have to do my hair mm -hmm. so definitely hair is out the question but i like to get like new body washes like if i'm like ooh, trying a new dr bonnet scent instead of the peppermint that i usually use like i like to try new things that's definitely my favorite thing to do just trying new things on my body um also like jenny said for me i do really try like trying new soaps and stuff but keeping in mind of like my sensitivity or my dry skin um but i have to say my favorite is doing my hair just because i like doing new hairstyles and i just i like show them i do dread the wash process because it's just like the detangling but like after it's already washed and stuff i just like the whole moisturizing and like doing my like night thing it just it actually relaxes me i think mm -hmm. and i like doing my hair so i think that's fun for me my favorite mm -hmm. yeah so next week. Thanks for watching, guys. Okay. Thank you guys for watching our YouTube video. Hope you come back next week for more. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Leave recommendations in the comments for what videos you guys want us to do. And don't forget to comment your favorite body care products in the comments or favorite hair care products, any of those in the And what's your favorite step too? Bye guys!